Lesson 5.5, Social Security and Medicare. Please read the article before moving on to the next lesson. Our terms today are Social Security, Federal Insurance Contributions Act, known as FICA, FICA taxes, Social Security taxes, Medicare tax, maximum taxable income, and Social Security number. Example 1, Ramiro got his first job in 2016. In that year, Social Security tax was 6.2% of the income up to a maximum of $118,500. Medicare was 1.45%. If Ramiro earned $73,210 in 2016, how much did he pay in Social Security and Medicare taxes? So we're going to first figure out his Social Security. And then we have to add that to his Medicare to figure out what his total taxes were. So Social Security says that they will only pay 6.2% up to this amount. He has not made it up to the limit yet. So he's going to pay 6.2% of his earnings. So Social Security, you pay 6.2% up to this maximum. So 6.2% of up to this maximum. Medicare, you will always pay 1.45% of your entire income. And this will be your taxes. So we have 6.2% being multiplied by income up to 118000 He is not up to that limit yet. So he's going to pay for his entire income because he has not reached the ceiling. We're going to add that to 1.45%. Medicare is always for your entire income. So here is his entire income. And this is going to be our taxes. So 6.2% is 0 0.062, so that decimal had to be moved two places to the left. It was moved two places to the left. Multiply that by his entire salary because he did not reach the cap. We have to change that percent to a decimal. Multiply by his entire salary because Medicaid is Medicare is always the entire salary. 0 0.062 times 73,210 is $4,539.02. 0 0.0145 times 73,210 is $1,061.55. Add these two together and you get his total taxes, which is $5,600.57. So what was the final answer? $5,600.57 is his final answer, and this is all FICA taxes. This is all of his Social Security and Medicare. Let's check your understanding. Lisa made a total of X dollars last year, which is more than the maximum taxable income for Social Security. So she maxed out her Social Security. The Medicare tax is 1.45% says a write an expression that represents what Lisa paid for Medicare. It only asks about Medicare. It is not asking about Social Security. So we're not going to answer Social Security at all right now. Just Medicare. Medicare is always your entire income. So Medicare is taxing all of your income. So we have 1.45% being multiplied by her entire income. The percent as a decimal is 0 0.0145. Her entire income is X dollars. So what did she pay in Medicare last year? She paid this number times X. So 0 0.0145X is our final answer. And this was her Medicare last year. Example two. Please express the Social Security tax for 2016 as a piecewise function, which means we're going to have a piecewise function like this. It only wants Social Security. So we're going to have f of x being our equation, where the x has to be our income because it's looking, Social Security looks at your income to determine your tax. So the x is going to be our income. What is the Social Security based on our income? There were two levels. So we need to figure out the level 1 charge and the level 2 charge. If you remember, there was a cap. So our Social Security was capped out at $118,500. If you made up to this maximum point, in the two previous two problems, it said 6.2%. So you paid 
of whatever your salary was until you made this much. If you made more than this, you were no longer taxing your entire income. If you made more than this, you only were taxed on that max, which is a flat rate. So if you make more money, you play a flat rate. If you make less money, you only pay the percent on what you were earning. So if you made under this limit, you only paid 6.2% of your income. So here's an explanation of what it looks like to be in this tax bracket. If you made more than that limit, they are only going to charge you what that limit would have been. So you were actually a flat rate every single time if you made more than that did. Let's check your understanding. Mean worked three jobs in 2016. The total of her incomes was less than the maximum taxable allowed for Social Security. She worked at Quick Mart. She made X dollars there. She worked at the college bookstore, made Y dollars there. She worked at the mail depot, made a Z dollars there. It says to express the combined total of her Social Security and Medicare taxes algebraically. So first, what was her actual salary? Her total salary, it said that she worked at Quick Mart. And then she worked at the college bookstore. And then it says she worked at mail depot. So all three of these were her total salary. So Quick Mart, it said that she made X dollars. College Bookstore said she made Y. And Mail Depot, it said that she made Z. This is her total salary. It wants us to express her Social Security and her Medicare. So we need to find out her Social Security. And we're going to add that to her Medicare to figure out her combined taxes. So Social Security is taxed on all of her income because all of her income is less than the allowance. So we are going to do the 6.2% of her entire income because her entire income was less than the limit. Medicare is 1.45% of her entire income because Medicare is always of the entire income and that will be her total combined taxes. So we have 6.2% of her entire income being added to 1.45% of her entire income. So if we have 6.2 of everything being added to 1.45 of everything, we actually end up having 7.65% of everything, the entire income. What is this equation algebraically? It means that that cannot be a percentage. So 0 0.0765 by the entire income. And this is our final answer. This is her combined taxes. Example three, it wants us to graph the social security tax piecewise function from example two. It wants us to graph what social security looks like. So here is my graph. Now Social Security looks at your income to determine what your Social Security tax will be. That's how we know income is in the x-axis and Social Security tax is on the y-axis. You have to know your income to determine Social Security. Well, there's only one point value that matters. The income had a point limit. If you made less than this amount of money, it was determined to be on your income. If you made more than this amount of money, your Social Security tax stayed the same. If I made exactly this amount of money, I know that I will pay exactly this amount in Social Security taxes. So this is the one coordinate point that we know. If I made this much or more, I am paying $7,347 in taxes. If I made more than this amount of income, I still pay this 
amount in Social Security, which meant my Social Security never went up. I stayed at this rate no matter how much I made after this amount. But everything else below was determined on how much my income was, and it was a steady rate. So here is my steady rate. It's like a slope. So there's a the slope from Algebra 1. So that's a straight line, a very bad straight line. So all of this right here is how much you owe, and it increases as you make more money, and it increases at a slope of 0 0.062 because that was the percent that you paid. So we have a steady increase until somebody makes $118,000 and then you play a flat rate. So this right here is no matter how much you earn, So no matter how much you earn after this amount, you will only pay this amount in taxes. That's what this represents. Now let's check your understanding. It says Mark's Social Security tax was $3,500 during the year that we just made our graph for. It wants us to use the graph to estimate his taxes. So this is what the graph had looked like. So this is what our graph looked like. This is how much his taxes were. So 3,500, here is zero, and 7,300. So this is a little more than half. So here is half. He made a little bit more than half. So this is $3,500. That's how much he paid in taxes. It wants to know what was his income. So if we come all the way over, it landed about ish here, which would tell us ish, here is his taxes, is his income. Well, between here and here, this is the middle point, and I know halfway in between zero and 118,500 is 59,250. That's the middle. This is about a little more than the middle, so I am estimating his income. It's an estimate, because this graph was not a graph paper. So our estimate, we're gonna estimate that he made about, let's say, 60, I don't know, $63,000 looks like our estimate of how much he made in tax. So that was his taxable income because everything below that limit was taxable. So we just gonna estimate it. That looks about 63-ish. Example four, in 1988, Social Security tax was 7.51%. So this tells us that every year, Social Security tax percentage changes and that the maximum income was this amount. So not only does the percent change, the maximum amount of taxable income also changes. If Grace earned 51,000, oh, she made more, how much does she pay in Social Security? If this is the maximum amount of income, that means that you only pay taxes up to that income. So we're gonna take the tax rate and you're gonna multiply it by the amount of taxable income since she made more than that, that means that that is her taxable income. This will give us our Social Security tax paid. So the tax rate in this year was 7.51% because she made more than the limit, then her taxable income is at the limit. So change this percent to a decimal. We have 0 0.0751 being multiplied to $45,000. Type that into your calculator, I get 3,379 and 50 cents. So what is our final answer? It's 3,379 dollars and 50 cents, and this was her social security tax. Let's check your understanding. In 1988, Ramona paid 2,853 dollars and 80 cents in social security tax. It wants to know, what is Ramona's taxable income in 1988? And we have to use example four because that's the only time we knew of the 1988 tax income. So to know how much she paid in Social Security taxes, you would have to take the tax rate and you would have to multiply it by the amount of taxable income. It said that she paid this amount, so we know this. She paid $2,853.80.
We know the taxable rate, because in example four, it told us it was 7.51%. We don't know her amount of taxable income, because that's what it's asking us. So we're going to just call that X. We need to make this a decimal so we could use it. So we need to turn it into a decimal. Now I need to get X by itself, which means I need to divide both sides by that decimal. So her taxes divided by that decimal is $38,000. So what was her taxable income? She made $38,000.